going on everybody it's garnet walters here i hope that you're having a great day i hope that you are safe i'm um, in today's video i'm going to continue to create my portable rig and i'm going to walk you through how i create the rig in main stage so without further ado let's get right to it all right so i pick a template first and i wipe off everything clean everything off and that's a blank slate then I look for a 61 key keyboard. It comes with the mod wheel and the pitch bender. All right, I'm just gonna try and align it. Get it where I want it to go. Oops, try it again. Cool. Then I take off the keyboard layers. I think it uses a lot of CPU. Then I uh, put it onto the MIDI. Uh, Key Lab 61, and I put my sustain pedal right next to it. I want to see everything uniform and everything lined up properly. Then I add the nine faders because that board has nine faders on it. And then I do the same thing with the um, with the knobs because there are nine knobs on that board. I just pick nine knobs and then just line everything up the way that I want it. Then after that, I start to assign the faders and the knobs. And the way I do that is you press assign and you go to the fader that you want to program, you click on it, and then you find the fader on the board and you program it that way. You have to be careful when you're doing this because if you're not careful, you could program one knob or one fader to two different knobs or faders on main stage. So you take your time and just get it right. Do the same thing with the mod wheel and the pitch bender, the keys, and even the pedal. And I always make sure I save it, you know. Don't want to cause any problems or mess up anything. Then after that, I start to program the MPK Mini 2. It's a 25 key keyboard. You take the layers off and, um, you know, I add the pedal as well. You know, I, again, I do everything lined up. Because I want to see everything uniform. I want to see everything clearly. Then, after that, I just set it up so that it will read as the MPK Mini. Then, I start to assign the pitch bender and the mod wheel. Even though it's a joystick, it still works the same way. Then, I add the eight pads because the board has eight pads. And then, this is where it gets kind of tricky. Because the... Because the board doesn't have, uh, because the board has, you know, two rows of four knobs and main stage doesn't have that, I have to do it one by one. And what I'm doing here is I'm making the knob smaller, then I'm taking the parameters off, like the text off, because that's going to take up too much room. So I just program that by just uh, copy and pasting. And this is where it becomes a bit of a hassle. Because when I want to try and, you know, get this all lined up, then it reads, it reads that I'm actually moving the keyboard. I don't want that. It's kind of aggravating. See, the cool thing about main stage is at least when you're trying to put all the stuff together, that it has those guidelines so everything can look really, really nice. Once I get those four lined up, copy and paste that, and then just drag it down. Now we get to the assignments. So I'm gonna start assigning the drum pads and the knobs. Now I had to do something kind of weird with the MPK Mini so that it would read it properly. I had to uh, put a program select on the MPK Mini so that it would read everything correctly because when I would turn the knob, what would happen is it would also um, turn the, uh, the mod wheel up. So I had to use program select and then press a, uh, a drum pad just to get it lined up properly. Thank you. 
And again, you want to make sure that whatever button or knob you're, you're programming, you want to make sure that it lines up properly because you don't want to end up turning the knob and then you're triggering uh, the pitch bender or a key or even the drum pad. So it's best that you take your time with it. Just double check, checking everything. Everything looks like it lines up. Then after that, I'm going to create, I'm going to create a little background. It's just a little um, like menu, menu bar kind of thing. So I can see my MIDI activity and um, see how much CPU I'm using. So I just use the uh, background and then add text. And again, I want to make the text bold so I don't have to really squint and look at it. Because when you're playing, you know, you want to see everything just at a, at a second's notice. So this is going to show my MIDI activity. I'm going to make sure that works. So anytime you press any uh, key or knob or anything like that, the MIDI uh, activity light will light up. Then I'm going to create something to show my CPU, the levels. So I type the text, make it big. I put that volume meter up there. I take off the text underneath it. And then I have to add one more thing. And the other thing that I need to add other than the background here for the uh, the knobs and stuff, I have to add a vertical meter for you know my master volume. So right now I'm just taking care of um, the background for these knobs, and then after that, then I'll add that vertical meter. There we go. Right, then I go into the edit section and then um, I'm going to look for the master volume or level take me a little bit to find it I thought I had it just a second ago there we go right so that's the sound coming out of that Then after that, while I'm in the edit mode, I want to make sure that my faders are lined up properly. Everything that I assigned in the layout mode, I want to make sure that every fader, every knob, every drum pad is working correctly. And I'm also checking that the MIDI indicator is working well also. And if you also look at the CPU, you can see that the meter is working correctly also. Right here, I'm just doing a little bit of tweaking. Yeah, I didn't see any of the keys come up, but then I realized that it was just the um, the octave button wasn't wasn't in the proper place. So I just pressed the octave button, and everything started to show, as you can see here. Again, you want to make sure that everything is running correctly. And that is how I put my rig together in main stage. Um, I hope that you find it helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to type something in the comments. Also, um, I wanna know what kind of rigs you create in main stage. So you can type that into the comments as well. Um, I'd like to thank all of you who have subscribed so far. Um, I think we're, about, we're at about 450 subscribers. Again, thank you so much for your support. And if you haven't subscribed, um, please just take a second and just click on that red button there. Just subscribe 
subscribe button. And if you like the video, leave a like. I also appreciate that as well. And if you have any questions, again, you can just leave something in the comment section or you can just reach out to me on social media. Um, all of this, all the social media information will be in the description section. Um, once again, thank you for taking the time to watch. Um, and I appreciate your support and look out for the next one. Peace.